Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by reviewing these One More Comfo earbuds, which look a lot like Apple AirPods. And usually when you see a product that's so, how should I say this, inspired by the flagship, by the industry leader, it usually doesn't turn out to be very good. But I decided this time to take a look at these One More Comfo buds, to take a look at them on their own and see how they stand up as just ear pods because for a lot of reasons I think that imitation knockoff dynamic is changing. So if you take these one more comfo buds as what they are which are half price air pod shaped earbuds they're not too comfortable they're a little bit rough around the edges but they're not completely terrible either. And a lot of you might be looking for AirPods without that AirPods price tag. So here's a review of the one more comfo buds without thinking about or comparing it to AirPods. Although they do look a lot like AirPods, there are some aesthetic differences. First, let's start with the pill-shaped case. The case comes in either black or this glossy cream white with a USB-C port for charging. Since the Comfo Buds don't have wireless charging, it means one more can design a smaller 7 by 3 centimeter case that weighs about 158 grams with the earbuds inside. The case pops open a little bit less than 90 degrees and has this indicator light on the front showing green for full, orange for about half full, and red for you better charge me. Charging the case takes roughly 90 minutes and the case gets you about 15 to 16 hours of battery life in my testing. That's roughly four times the battery life of each earbud, which is around four hours. And when you open the case, there's this very faint audible little jingle that I wish you could turn off. Let me see if the microphone picks it up. Anyway, if you didn't hear that, it's low enough to where it's not going to bother you. It's not going to bother anyone around you, but it's just kind of just kind of a weird feature to have. Every time you open these up, you hear a little ding, 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 ding sound. I could do without that. Inside the case, you've got this Bluetooth pairing button, which uses Bluetooth 5.0. It works quickly and connections are fairly reliable. Indicator lights here on the earbuds themselves are also a nice touch, letting you know if you're in pairing mode and how you're doing on battery life. Those red flashes, by the way, mean you've got less than 20 minutes of charge remaining. Outside the case, the Comfo Buds are a very familiar look and size, 3.9 by 17.9 by 18.8 centimeters and weighing 3.8 grams each. The earbuds feel just a little bit slippery, it's a little bit too glossy to hold, so every time you take these out or hold them in your hand, it's going to feel like you're just about to drop them, and believe me, you will drop these earbuds. Moving on to the ear tips, they are made of a hard plastic and this ribbing around the edges isn't very comfortable in your ear. You'll notice the strange texture and these Comfo Buds didn't feel very secure in my ears personally. Even though these earbuds are IPX5 rated, meaning they are reasonably waterproof, I doubt once you start sweating the Comfo Buds will stay in place, so don't expect to use these on any workouts or on any runs or jogs or any strenuous activity or headbanging. And getting the earbuds in and out of the case isn't always as quick as it should be. I have this habit of reversing the earbuds. So I would put the left earbud in the right side and vice versa. And they almost fit just close enough. So they're almost in place just close enough to where you think that it's the right fit, but it's not. You've got them reversed. It's something that I did so frequently. I'm sure a lot of you will do too. One more have included touch controls that can answer calls or pause and play what you're listening to, but that touch sensor is a little bit small, so hitting it just right takes a try or two, and there are no volume controls. The Comfo Buds will automatically pause what you're listening to, however, if you take one of the buds out when you need to talk to someone or hear an announcement around you, and once you put the earbuds back in your ear, the music or whatever you're listening to will automatically resume playing. That's a feature that I found very useful. So these Comfo Buds look a lot like AirPods, but they're rough around the edges, in some places literally. So this ribbing right there just around the ear tip is not very comfortable at all. This red grill right there, it, I don't know if it picks it up on the camera, but it looks kind of cheap. Like you kind of just kind of push that in, it doesn't seem very reliable. And this ear tip, like I mentioned, isn't very comfortable. But the sound, the sound is surprisingly clear. And that clarity is helped by the fact that there's hardly any bass with these Comfo Buds. Depending on what you're listening to, if there's a lot of bass on a track, you'll certainly notice and miss the lower spectrum of sounds. The lack of bass is helped and balanced by the clarity, but if you want to hear that thump, these Comfo Buds aren't it. I'll also add it's disturbing how loud these earbuds can get, so just be careful with the volume control. 
and the microphones in the comfort buds aren't very good. So if you want earbuds that you're going to use to take a lot of calls or you receive a lot of calls throughout the day, then you probably don't want to get these comfort buds. They pick up so much ambient sound and the microphones aren't very sensitive. So they don't get a lot of what you're saying, what's coming out of your mouth. They pick up a lot of what's going on around you. So in terms of microphones for calls, for the occasional call, it's probably going to be passable. But if you're taking a lot of phone calls and you know you want headphones or earbuds with good microphones, these comfort buds, again, aren't it. As far as the noise isolation for what you're listening to, it's not great, mainly because the ear tips are hard plastic rather than a soft rubber that can expand and shape to your particular ears. On a walk or commute, though, it's pleasant enough and gives you access to hearing a bit of what's going on around you. There's also this tip in the instruction manual which reads, in dry environments, static electricity may numb your ear. This is not related to the quality of the product. Now, I didn't experience any ear numbing due to static electricity or these earbuds themselves. In fact, it was kind of the opposite. I could only feel these earbuds because of that ear tip. It's just so uncomfortable. You always know when you have these earbuds in your ear, but just be aware that Static electricity, not the earbuds, static electricity might just randomly numb your ears when you're using these earbuds. Look, all gripes aside, these wouldn't be my first choice for earbuds, but to call them just knockoffs and dismiss them isn't quite fair either. Because for better or worse, Apple, when they created the AirPods, have created a new form factor for earbuds that's very, very popular. So saying something like headphones that all have a band on top and ear cups on the side are all Bose knockoffs, for example, wouldn't be fair because eventually once a form factor settles in and becomes popular, a lot of manufacturers are simply gonna copy that design and the one more are no different. The main difference I'd say when it comes to these smaller brands is they tend to go for the form factor only and try to be as cheap on everything else as possible. But with these one more comfort buds, the sound quality isn't that terrible and when it comes to imitating the form factor, it's close enough. Now, are they worth half the price of AirPods? No. I think for this price or less, actually, you can get something like the Anchor Soundcore, which I'll link to that review down in the description, which give you a much better product that doesn't try to completely fool you into thinking they're AirPods or they're not AirPod chameleons. They're the AirPod form factor, but they're not trying to be AirPods in the way they look and the total design. and they focus on giving you better sound. So the sound quality is better. The fit is just a little bit better. So they don't go for the complete imitation. They try to make the most of what they can and what they can actually manufacture. But you'll always have your designer brands and your imitations. And I think that's kind of the best way to look at them, which is separately. If you try to compare the imitations with the designer brands, you're always going to fall short. So in a lot of ways, people tend to do reviews of imitation products and they go, hey, these aren't so bad. They're not so bad. And they kind of seem like they're better because your expectation bar was a little bit low. But when you focus on these imitation brands as they are and just on the imitation, the brand itself, what are these earbuds giving you, then you can get a lot more reasonable information about whether or not they're worth purchasing rather than trying to compare them to some designer brand, which is much more expensive and obviously going to be much better. And I think these comfort buds fall into that same category as well. If you try to compare them to AirPods, you're going to be disappointed and maybe say, oh, well, at least the sound is clear. They're not too bad and they kind of look like AirPods. Where if you just focus on the product itself, the earbuds themselves, you'll realize that around this $50 price range, there are some AirPod form factor earbuds, which are gonna give you better sound, but more importantly, better fit, which is really important because if your earbuds don't fit and they keep falling out, then you can't really listen to a lot of anything except for just the outside world. And who, who, who wants to do that, I guess. Anyway, that's my review of the One More Comfort Buds. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And on your way down, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Prize me in how close is the main leader in price tag. So I wanted to.